Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy. This is former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Ah! <laughs> the bull. <laughs> oh, hi. That's right. <laughs> hi, Governor. It's been a while. How you doing? Oh, you know I'm fine. <laughs> Just hanging out, <laughs> keeping my eye on things as I always do. <laughs> Can you believe this Donald Trump business? <laughs> what do you mean? Can you believe how corrupt he is? <laughs> I've never seen corruption so <laughs> Honestly, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> But I suppose it's good that he's finally being brought to justice. Oh, it's the the corruption that really gets to you. I can tell. Oh, it does. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. I think it's good that he's being brought to justice and that everyone is paying attention to all this. Why, it's all that CNN is even talking about. Well, that and Lizzo getting in trouble for body shaming. Didn't see that one coming. So you think it's good, do you? Yes, Jimmy, I do. (laughs) Because if Donald Trump is brought to justice, it will show the American people that politicians can't get away with this kind of stuff. Or at least that will be the general impression they walk away with. Uh, uh Uh-huh. So the rest of us politicians can keep getting away with murder. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) I see you got, I got it. I knew you'd have an angle, Mr. Governor. (laughs) You did, I bet you did. (laughs) Oh, mama mia, you know me too well, Jimmy (laughs) Dore. Oh, well, <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> yeah, sure. What kind of, what kind of corruption are you talking about? You know what? How about I take you out to dinner and we talk about it? On me, my treat. I don't think so, Andrew. Come on. (laughs) Out there in L.A. somewhere, what is a place you've always wanted to go to but is so fancy and expensive, you're saving it for the most special occasion of special occasions? Your dream restaurant. Just name it. Doesn't even have to be Italian. Um... Okay, how... Um... I, w- I would say Gucci's in Beverly Hills. Oh, nice choice. <laughs> but how how do you have the money to take me out to the most expensive restaurant I can think of? Aren't you unemployed? Oh, I won't be paying technically. The Andrew Cuomo campaign fund will be paying. Well, what? You still have a campaign fund? Why? Well, of course. It's still left over from when I ran for governor the last time. It's a legal and financial entity. You don't spend all that money during a campaign. There's always some left over. Really? How much? Oh, just a pittance, really. (laughs) $7.6 million, (laughs) give or take. (laughs) Probably enough for dinner for two at Gucci's, including Tim. <laughs> so that's your personal <laughs> So that's your personal spending fund? That's your money? Now hold on, Johnny Cakes. <laughs> Not exactly. But since I routinely call your show and talk about my potential potential political comeback, I have you listed as a political <laughs> consultant, even though you hate me. <laughs> so, so as long as it's dinner, we briefly talk about campaigning, even in general sense, it counts. The rest of the time is just two fucking bulls enjoying Kanye. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> You're t- 
telling me. <laughs> this fund also pays for $1,500 a month storage facilities. What? What are you storing? All my shit. <laughs> Since I resigned as governor and wasn't impeached and didn't have a permanent residence upon having to move out of the governor's mansion, all my personal goods can be stored on the campaign fund's dime. Isn't that nice? This is kind of unbelievable. Oh, it gets better, believe me. I bet. I bet. <laughs> Buckle the fuck up, my pugilistic Irish friend. <laughs> so, Jimmy... You know how I'm fighting two legal cases simultaneously? (laughs) Yes, of course. Well, believe me, that is not cheap. (laughs) Luckily, I can pay my legal fees, which are substantial, out of the Andrew Cuomo campaign fund. Like, legally? Of course, because these legal matters arose in the course of me serving the people of New York as governor, which remains my greatest achievement (laughs) and greatest honor. Uh, Okay, this is absolutely unconscionable. Hold on, I'm not fucking done. (laughs) Here's the best part. Since I've been winning these cases, that that is to say vindicated... The lion's share of my legal fees will be reimbursed with taxpayer dollars. Oh, my. That's right. <laughs> Money from the people of New York State will go back into the Andrew Cuomo campaign fund. So I can spend 1,500 clams a month to store all my divorced guy shit. <laughs> so start thinking about fucking appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you know, it's it's almost as if our entire political system is rigged to financially benefit politicians. Now you get it. <laughs> Donald Trump's only mistake was that he didn't know how to do it right. The rest of us, smooth sailing. Ugh. So yeah, it's good that he's being brought to justice, and that I am being brought to Mastro Steakhouse once a week. <laughs> <laughs> So let's just all pay attention to Donald Trump getting in trouble. (laughs) It's good for America, and it's good for me. So all I ask is you do your part and dedicate 80% of your show to disgusting Donald Trump. That's not too much to ask, is it? Uh, Yeah, it is. And you can take your dinner invite and put it, you know, up your know-what. Okay, fair enough. (laughs) How about just getting Negronis at a hotel bar somewhere? No. Well, I'll think about it. I knew you'd come around, baby. (laughs) I'll be in touch. Until then, remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch. But if you're in politics, free money's just sitting on the counter. Ciao, mi amici. Ciao. Come see our live shows. We're going to be in Chicago, Rosemont, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Toronto, Toledo, Detroit, St. Louis, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. 